Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Lisa, or rather, welcome to Let's Play Lisa the Painful RPG Painful Mode. So, um, yeah, I'm going through painful mode of this here game. It's going to be an annotated LP in a sense that I'm not like showing literally everything but rather just some changes that happen in this mode, as well as some things I discover. So, for example, the first uh, little thing here that I could have did back in the main LP is just keep going past Brad's house. Because we got a special someone right here. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. But yeah, um, like I said, this is going to be an annotated LP in a sense. Or, well, annotated feels weird. Truncated, I guess, would probably work better. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to show off everything. So if you're watching this and you're unfamiliar with the structure of Lisa, I highly recommend uh, going back and watching the uh, painful or at least of the painful videos that come before this. Um, link to the playlist below in the description. Even though this will be a part of the same playlist, but, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, I am going to show off the... Um, oh, that's... Wow, despite being on headphones. Um, but I am going to show off the major... Things like major boss fights, uh, any joy mutant fight, um, any like important decisions I make, because um, unlike the uh, like regular mode playthrough, I'm gonna be doing some different decisions here. I'm going to be a little more selfish with Brad. Hint, hint. Yeah, Brad ain't going to be losing no arms in this one. So, yeah, I'm going to be showcasing off like the different... Uh, that, 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 that sounded so awkward. I'm just going to be showing off all of the various changes to this mode, as well as the changes that occur from certain decisions. And like I said, some things I missed that are available in like whatever mode of the game you play. So we're coming up on the first like major decision of this here mode. Yeah, I'm doing a little more exploring too. But um Yeah, I'm not gonna sell out Terry on this. So yeah, that made the uh, start a bit more um, annoying, and I could have, uh, or like, you know, I I knew I was going to be doing this going in, so I probably could have did less exploring and left some items for after uh, the moment where I uh, uh, save Terry, but I wasn't thinking. What was I doing here? No, really, what, what was I doing here? Oh. Hmm. I have no clue. Was I watching, like, something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I must have been, like, changing a video I was listening to on my phone or something. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm doing this with post-commentary. That's why the commentary is so awful, and I am uh, just all over the place. And yeah, what you also saw um, prior to Brad getting hit by the car is another painful mode mechanic in that every save point can only be used once. They explode immediately after use. So you really want to be careful with that. Like, to an insane degree. So, yeah. Um, 
because of that mechanic, I did have to restart a few times. Yeah. Yeah. You really want to be careful. Safety saves are kind of not a thing anymore. Unless you just... I, I, I don't I don't know. Like, I, there were a few instances of me... Um, not using an easily accessible save because I figured I can make it to like the next save and I can save this one for if I need to stop playing or if stuff happens later on in the game and I just need like you know another save I might have used up everything there blah 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 so yeah you, you just really want to manage the save points but anyway I decided to save Terry Yay! Which means I lost all my money and my stuff. Boo. But it's the beginning of the game, so it's no big deal, really. I just, I, I, I like how this whole thing was handled, like, it's just so nonchalant about it, it's like, oh, wow, yeah, man, you, uh, you're kind of dumb, but you know what, I, I, I like the fact that you did not sell me out, so, hey, I'll stay with you. Anyway, first Joy Mutant fight, uh, the Joy Mutants are going to be a lot harder, <laughs> I think there are going to be be some painful mode exclusive joy mutants uh, I am aware of one in particular that I am not looking forward to that one's gonna be tough I don't know if rates of one hit KO moves are increased I mean it didn't happen here but I think by this being the first joy mutant he can't or at the very least if he can the chances of him hitting them are minuscule. And yeah, I immediately switched out Terry in favor of uh, Olan, Nern, and El Rage. And I did look up a lot about the characters after uh, the initial playthrough. And while Terry does indeed suck, uh, he, he's kind of like Magikarp from Pokemon in a sense. Like, if you actually put in the effort to train him, really late in the game, he becomes amazing. Uh, I believe when he reaches, like, level 25, he learns the strongest fire move in the game. Yeah. That said, I don't quite know if I'm going to attempt to get him to level 25. Like you'll, you'll, you'll see why later on. Like, I'm just... I feel bad for saying what I'm about to say, but it's kind of the nature of the beast with painful mode, but, um... Yeah, I'm not looking at any of the party members as, like, people or... Um, characters in this mode I'm looking at them as buffers and um, just I don't know pawns I guess like, I'm treating them like Pikmin I'm, I'm trying to keep them alive but sometimes I will have to get strategic with uh, how I use them yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to be losing some party members. Like, even outside of one-hit KOs in battle, we're going to be losing some party members. But at least I know some things now. Like, for example, I'm going to stay to, uh, like, really safe 
healing zones. I have a better idea of where they are now. So that I don't have to worry about campfires. Uh, there are also some campfires where there is no risk of danger. So I'm keeping track of those as well. But um, yeah, while we will be avoiding kidnappings. Oh, sacrifices will be made. For Brad's arms, at least. Well, Brad's first arm. The second arm is handled differently, and I'm really uncomfortable with that one, and I'm just... I don't know how that's gonna fare. I don't know how that's gonna fare. So yeah, I will randomly switch up my team at certain points <laughs> to accommodate for uh, some things that will go down. Anyway, um, next major difference from the original LP. What was I doing? Was I just consulting a guide? I think so. Sorry about these pauses, folks. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I should have did a better job of cultivating this. Especially since I think this was a section I had to redo. Because death. But, um... Yeah, when you first encounter, like, these dudes... You say, oh, I don't want any trouble, and like you go past them, and then you fight all four of them and the big guy at the same time. Well, if you start shit with them right off the bat, you fight them first, and then you fight the big guy separately. So, uh, yeah. Strategy. So enjoy this fight. What was I doing? Come on, past self. Get it together. Good lord. The people are bored. You're just sitting there, just staring. Or possibly dozing off. I was recording this at like... <laughs> past midnight? Like 12.30, I think was when I started. And at one point, I was kind of dozing off. And that's why a few deaths happened. Because I'm up here, you know, I'm walking, and then it's like, oh no, my eyes start to get heavy, and then, like, I jolt up because I hear the death music. It's like, oh, I was just holding, like, left or right, and I walked off a ledge. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Thankfully, after, like, the halfway point, like, everything past the halfway point in this video, I think was a second recording session where I was actually alert. You know, alert enough to see just how tough some of these battles were and then, you know, died during them. Grinding is kind of required for this mode. Maybe not, like, maybe not particularly, but it can help. I mean, you gotta be careful with grinding, though, because you could end up losing a party member at a moment's notice. Anyway, here's Big Dude. Kinda forgot your name. Okay, can, can we start the fight so I can, like, see it? Well, yeah, there, there he is. He's not particularly hard when he's by himself, thankfully. Anyway, enjoy the rest of this here fight. It won't last too long. told you. Yeah, it's a lot easier when you have less numbers to deal with. I know that's like, that was only one less unit enemy, but eh, sometimes it can make all the difference in the world. Anyway, we have this guy right here on the path to the bike. This is an enemy that only appears in painful mode. So you don't see the guy, like, pretending to be grass. 
here. You're just fighting a guy pretending to be a tree. Cause it's, it's pretty weird. Easy. Oh, another thing uh, to mention, because Brad won't be losing his arms, he's going to be less joy dependent. I mean, he's still going to suffer from the occasional withdrawal, but it won't be as frequent, thankfully. So anyway, hopping on the bike to return to sort of like the initial area before the uh, tent I would always use to heal, because... There's some secrets here that would have helped me out before. Namely, a shop and the appearance of a certain somebody. Ominous, ain't it? I don't know, like, there, there's something about looking back on these moments where Brad runs into Dr. Yado. Where, like, he just stops playing the trumpet and just stares. Something about him, I, ju I just really like. Also, um, yeah, you can use the bike to jump off that ledge into this little house right here. There's items. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It was something I didn't know about uh, in the OG LP. And yeah, you get the wet stick. Which, funny enough, um, well, A, it's for Mad Dog, but B, funny enough, it's stronger than <laughs> the nail bat. That's hilarious. Okay, looking back on that, I'm probably just going to edit out that pause. This little point of dialogue probably means nothing to you watching the final product. But, yep, here we are. First, well, major, major boss. Well, I say major, major boss. This is technically the first boss? Would you consider Joy Mutants a boss, or would those be mini-bosses? I don't know. But, um, yeah, we're fighting the hair club guys. Like I said, just showing it off here. Um, there's nothing majorly different about this fight. 
and I think I beat them quicker than how I did in the OG LP. But this time I have knowledge, prior knowledge. So I can just breeze through the fight. Enjoy. And there's Farty. And there's the next change for painful mode. So I believe this campfire, nothing bad can happen to you. And yeah, dude that was hitting the corpse there dies. It's pretty sad. But yeah, um, nothing negative can happen at this campfire, I believe. Uh, so, you're free to use it, if you must. I think this is one of the few, like, open campfires where that's the case. Uh, so now, the next change. Dude that was blocking the door, he, he has backup. This fight is tough. <laughs> it is really tough but they're essentially the same character because dealing with two of them at once and uh yeah if you're not prepared you will die
We did it. We did it. That was a stressful fight, but we did it. I mean, yeah, I saved beforehand, but still. It doesn't change the fact that these are some pretty tough fights. Not to mention, you know, chances of one-hit KOs. At least I think they have them. Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. But anyway, heading back to uh, switch up the team. Because there's Buzzo. And he always takes the second member of your team at this point. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am, uh, I am so sorry, my guy. Hey, at least we got your truck. <laughs> oh, man. I, I felt bad for this. I really did, but like I said, I'm keeping Brad's arms for this one, Mo mostly for the achievement. I'm mad that there's an achievement for having no arms, uh, having one arm, and for having both arms. Like it's, it means you gotta beat the game at least three times to get all the achievements in this. It is fine, it's not a particularly long RPG, but it's still just kind of on the annoying side. Uh. So yeah, here we are at Russian Roulette. I'm gonna tell you right now, my luck was not as good as uh, the LP. At least for the first section. Or section, like first session of this. We all saw how things went when I was trying to get the, um, a s secret character here. Buckets, I believe? Which, uh, that, that, that is not going to be happening here. I am not going to be trying to grind through all of these, uh, Russian Roulette things, like, all these opponents, just to get a guy with a joy addiction. <laughs> Granted, I think he's all right stat-wise and has some good attacks, can equip some good things, but it ain't worth it because I know it's probably possible to make it through all of the Russian Relay opponents without anyone dying, but the chances of that are ridiculous ridiculously low and with limited saves I can't really save scum through this so yeah he doesn't seem worth it for a painful mode uh, party member so enjoy the rest of uh, me slowly going through my team here Okay, it actually wasn't that long. Eh. So yeah, it sucks that I lost Percy. When he's, like, decent? Chicken Dude is okay too, but... Yeah, I, I never really used him in the original LP either, so I guess... No harm, no foul, because, you know, Chicken... <laughs> yeah, that was awful. Anyway, um, just anything's off here with the, uh, the rangers. Just to have a nice little stopping point, as this is, like, the final bit of game before Area 2 proper. And I'm gonna keep these videos to, like, the specific areas and the, like, intermediate sections between them. So yeah, next video is going to be Area 2 and, um, like, the, um, islands 
there. I'm guessing I'll do. If there's need for me to go to the particular islands, I will look into that uh, for recording the next part. Yeah. And then the final part will be Area 3, where we beat the game and get a new ending. So, uh, yeah. That, that's going to be painful mode. Three videos just showcasing all the differences from uh, regular mode. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of this here video. There's not much left. It's going to be ending shortly after we beat Snake Man right here. But yeah. See you later, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.